Hey, Mark the Guitar Guy here. We're going to be learning Free Falling today. And Free Falling is such a cool song. The version that I do is actually sort of a cross between Tom Petty and John Mayer. I actually love both versions. and But I love the chords from the John Mayer version and, and the chorus is pretty similar as well. So, so we're going to do more of that kind of version of the song. And I'm doing it without a capo, so I'm doing it in an, in an open position. So if you want to and you want to sing it higher, you can always throw a capo on and have a go through it. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it and get these chords down. Now, there's four chords in here, so only four chords we need to worry about. Now, the way I'm going to show you is actually the tricky little way I'm doing this with the, um, the on bass notes. I'll explain that as we go. But it's pretty simple. If you start off with an A chord, okay, so put an A chord with three fingers down, which is your typical A chord, just your typical one, one, two, three fingers. Now, your second finger is going to stay there the whole time. It's not going to go anywhere, okay? That second finger is just going to stay there. Now from there, we make our first chord shape. Now our first chord shape, our first finger is going to go up here on the top string on the second fret, and your little finger, or your third finger, but I like to use my little finger, my fourth finger, is going to play the third fret on the second string. So we've only got three notes being played, or actually um, played at the same time there. We've got our first finger playing the second fret on the top string, on the sixth string. Second finger is going to be playing the third fret, uh, so, sorry, second fret on the third string, and then on the second string, we've got our little finger on the third fret. So that makes a little shape there. Now, when we play finger style, by the way, this is going to be a finger style version of the song. Our thumb's going to play the top note. I'll show you that in a second more closely. But our thumb's going to play the top note, and then our three fingers are going to claw the open D string, so the fourth string, the third, and the second. So the groups together, and that's they're always going to play those three notes. So your first, the three fingers are constantly going to be playing the same group of strings every time. So that makes it nice and simple. Now if you play that chord, technically the chord is a D with an F sharp bass. D with an on bass note of F sharp. So it's just a D chord, but we've added the bass note of an F sharp in it. But we've got a sort of a, a more of an interesting way of playing that, okay? So the fingering for that, make sure it's the right way around. First finger, second finger, and little finger, and your third finger is doing nothing for that. That's your first chord. Now the next shape, this next part is so easy, and this is why it's really cool to have our third finger hanging out like this. We simply replace our first finger with our third finger on the third fret. So that note literally changed from F sharp to a G note, but we go from our first finger to our third finger. So that's the first thing to get used to. So it's a D with an F sharp bass, then it's a D with a G bass. And it's the same notes each time. The thumb's picking the top string, the bass string, and then it's doing the same for the next chord. Okay, that's the first thing to do. Next chord shape after that. First finger comes down one string from where it was before. So initially it was in the first string, on the, uh, sorry, sixth string. It's gonna come down to the fifth string and we bring our thumb down also on the right hand so we can pick that one. But other than that, it's the same three notes. Okay, so that's the third chord. So first chord is an F sharp bass. Second chord is a G bass. Third chord's a D chord with a B bass, so that's the B note we're playing, the second fret on the fifth string. And then the last chord is an A chord, three fingers in a row. Now I play this differently, a lot of times you watch me doing this, I'm doing it with two fingers a lot of the time. Don't... I'm doing some trickier stuff, but we're just doing the basic version for now so you can practice this this weekend and get really good at this, so when, we get really, when you get bored of that, we can add to it later on. Second chord, third chord, just an A for the fourth chord. Okay, back through it again. D with an F sharp bass. D with a G bass. Because that's the D with a G bass, but we're just doing it a different way. So we've got D with a B bass. And then A. And for those out there that just like playing basic chords and don't want to do the flashy version like that, it's simply a D with an F sharp bass on the first chord. So you can do a D with a thumb on top, a G for the second chord. B minor for the third chord and an A. Technically, that's what the chord progression would be. If you played chords and wrote out, it's pretty much that version of the song, but we're just doing more of a guitar version, I say. So that's what's happening with the left hand. So now it's time to take a look at the right hand, really, really simply. So we've already sorted that left. The right hand now is going to be doing finger style. Now with my finger style pattern, I have a thumb forward, so it's more of a folky style finger pattern than finger style, than a, um, than I guess a classical style of finger style. And your first, second, and third fingers are going to be like a claw, and they simply sit in the three strings. So they sit in the second, third, and fourth strings. 
and then they just work together the whole time. So, they, so And when they work together, they pick up towards the hand. So they're actually doing this come here motion. That's how you pick with finger style. And your thumb is simply a straight line. Really important, don't claw the thumb. Thumb, straight line. Check out my finger style patterns if you want to um, learn how to do the technique really correctly. Thumb out and straight. And all we're doing is we're just literally twisting or, or bringing our hand together. Okay. And then I'm doing a slap. Obviously, a bit long, a bit strong there. A little bit strong. And then we're going to the next chord. And a little bit longer, slap. And then we're going to do on the next chord, instead of, you can either do the same thing again to, to an A, or you can do bass then fingers. Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? And then to an A chord. An A, you just claw the A. So the first chord together, and then the second chord together, and then a bass then fingers, so thumb then fingers, and then A. I'll go back through that. There's a slap in there, by the way. Slap. Slap. And now you can hear that rhythm happening. There's that backbeat. And the rhythm, chord, chord. Chord, chord, chord. You can hear that happening. Chord. Now, if that's real hard for you, don't worry. Just stick with getting the chords right and... Maybe doing something like that, two chords on the B minor one, which is the, the D with the B bass. Okay, so that's the right hand. Pretty simple, really. There's other stuff going on, obviously, when we get more into it, but that's the whole song. And if you want to strum it, you can. I'm just using the fingers to do the strumming. And the strumming pattern I'm using for that is down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Now that sounds complex, but if you go back to the very first songs I've been doing with this whole series, you'll see that pattern a lot of the time. So down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. And you can hear them. And then you can add more into it later on, which we will do later on with the more complex lessons. So there you go, that is free falling, my version of free falling, and uh, with John Mayer slash my version of free falling. If you like that, I hope you really do. Leave your comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And otherwise, on Monday, we will be going through and breaking this song down into a little more complex parts that are happening within that song. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys then. I hope you really, really enjoy this weekend playing this song. Can't wait to see you again soon. Mark the Guitar Guy signing off. See you later.